Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to iCraft SMP. We are here with myself and pretty much our big giant um, pumpkin melon farm. One of our problems with the pumpkin melon farm is this. We're already filling up this next chest and it is getting quite full. And we got the issue where um, this isn't sorting in the best possible way. And so it's already starting to fill up in kind of interesting ways. So we, myself, King Key, wanted to get a storage system in place. And I do think there's enough room in the front here to build the storage system. And if you notice this line that's going right up here is this big giant loop there that comes around on the other side. I will show you that other side really quick without hurting myself, hopefully. You'll see it comes down and it stops, unfortunately, right in the glass and it will kind of mess up the railroad tracks too if I stick it there. And so what I had to do is I had to bump it back one by basically lowering everything down one. And that's what this lower ring's about. I feel like I'm making the Space Station Deep Space Nine here because this is kind of what Deep Space Nine does look like. So yeah, this lower ring that you see right here is the correct ring that we're going to be using because we just basically lowered it by two-ish, four something, four something blocks here. This all got lowered. Just so now by doing this, by starting here, we now have all of this extra space in here to really work with. And so what is this stuff going to be right down here? It is going to be ideally a giant pumpkin is what we're going to try to aim for. And I'm going to try to talk to him at some point about making an actual giant pumpkin. Now this is going to be a more photorealistic pumpkin versus making it, you know what, now that I think about it, I could totally make it like this kind of pumpkin. I'll have to talk to him about that because if we swap out the pumpkin and we make it look just like this guy, then shoot, that would be kind of cool. But I kind of want to make it a circular pumpkin, quite frankly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the various bits and blocks of dirt. I'm so worried now that by taking some of these out, it's going to kind of mess it up just a touch. And we still got enough work to work with the melon. So what I'm going to do to start with is I am going to swap out all of this dirt block that I just installed and I'm going to make that all become the Pumpkin. That's what we're going to do right now. Stay tuned, guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to still have to talk to Key here, but um, I got the rough basic shape. You can kind of see what this pumpkin's looking like, and you can see how it's going to eventually fill in this entire area. It's going to be one big giant wall of pumpkin right here, and it's going to loop around. As you can see, it's going to loop around. Eventually, it's going to drop down kind of like this. I asked Key to see what he thinks about keeping or getting rid of this wall here. I don't know yet, because if we keep the wall, then we'll have kind of something to deflect part of the pumpkin. If we get rid of it, then the pumpkin will eventually curve down like it, it, it you can see here. It's going to drop down a couple blocks. And so for emphasis here, I'm just going to do this in a few areas where we can actually see the block drop. So that way, that way he has a really, oh, I should have just taken that one. That way he has a really good idea of what's actually happening with some of these blocks and stuff. And hopefully he keeps the puzzle, but I don't know if you can actually keep the puzzle. It would be super nice and super convenient for me to have extra puzzle to give away. Maybe I should take all the puzzle out. But I also wonder if we should just have it kind of climb like as it is and just kind of have it look like it connects, but it doesn't, so to speak. And so you can definitely see the shape that starts to be developing here with the way it goes. Now, what happens over there, I'm not entirely sure because I know this dip down here and then I guess, I guess the pattern repeats itself, quite frankly, because once it does the first two dips, then it should be starting to curve in until it eventually links up with the stuff that's right over here. And I don't know how that's going to link up. I don't really have enough pumpkins to work with. This is the 38 pumpkins I've got here. It's pretty much all the pumpkins I've got. And sure, oh gods. And sure, whatever is in here too. Guys, you're going to love this. The system's been destroyed. 
This system been destroyed. It ended up being a giant rainstorm here, and we've got problems. We got a major invasion. I've got pumpkins attacking me. This is just not supposed to happen this way. The system broke. The system slightly broke. I think it could be fixed to some degree. I don't know how, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fiddle with some things. Get him! Get him! Okay, I don't know what happened, but um, a giant chunk of my area was destroyed, and it actually involved this guy. So, hmm. Let's see if we can fix the rails. Hopefully, this is so sad. The rails have been destroyed. Not all of it, thankfully, just a little bit of it that just missing, which is okay. Can I even get that little bit of rail? There it goes. I got, got the rail. Part of a rail. Anyways, I got like one rail. I need one more piece of rail. This is hilarious. actually happened guys I really really can't believe this actually happened fortunately oh gotta be combined first oh no oh I see it actually knocked off a lot of the chest here too that's amazing okay let's get this back into the minecart like it's supposed to be Stick that there, and now it should do a thing. I think the chest is like completely destroyed. Man, that creeper really, really came out of nowhere. What happened to all the, oh, there it is. I have a bunch of chests. I probably picked up the chest then. There's a good chance I probably did. Okay, let's put this back together. There we go, and this should be functioning like it, oops. This should be functioning like it should be now. Um, I probably did destroy a pumpkin or three, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Good thing it didn't mess up too much up here. Just a little bit of the glass got destroyed, but that that's fixable. At least that's actually fixable. So I need my trusty hoe here to help me out and Oh my, he is going to be very mad at me for finding out that this thing got broke. Okay, I don't remember which one's which. Okay, if that's pumpkin. I mean, yeah, this is pumpkin. This is melon. Oh my. That's why I have a single melon seed then. This is again pumpkin, and then that will again be melon. Perfect. Those will just do its usual growth rate thing, I guess. And I guess I could put bones in it. Hopefully I have bones right, like right here. No, I don't. Dang it. Okay. We're going to have to eventually wait till this rain stops, and hopefully you can get this area fixed. I can't believe I lost all this stuff, though. That was just so sad. Okay, guys. I'm going to get back to work. Back to what I was doing, which my goodness was a great piece of work here, guys. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, I am going to log off for the time being, but this is where I am with this big giant pumpkin thing. It's actually pretty good. I managed to cover the entire bottom area and get the entire bottom area done. The only, nice, the only place I had some problems happened to be like right in this area here because Essentially what happened down here, and I'll show you if I can get up on the other side, is the back side runs right up against the glass. So that back side is what's actually really difficult to deal with because of this right here. This right here, but it's not too bad. I mean, I managed to make it work, but then when you look at the bottom piece right down there, 
I had to extend the bottom piece just by a little bit just to be able to get it to fit properly. And then this piece over here is actually supposed to be in just a little bit too. So I did a little, little funky thing out there. And so it's not perfect down there. In fact, might be able to see it from up here. It's not entirely perfect. There's a little bit of a circ, just, just a little fudging right there. Just a little fudge. But everything else seems to work fine. I have to go and replace some glass, unfortunately for me, over on this side because the system kind of broke thanks to a creeper destroying this entire section over here. So I just gotta repair the glass work. Yeah, that's why I got one of these guys because some skeleton horse decided to just beam over. And I think they're still out there, quite frankly. I don't think they've died yet. So I'm gonna try to check back maybe sometime tomorrow and see where I am with this. If you guys want to know, I'll show you what it looks like from a little further away. This is what it's looking like so far. Nice round spherical pumpkin. Now, of course, we're going to have to change the shape up to the top, but um, yeah, like kind of cut it maybe like right there and then do some shape changing stuff and make it a little more flatter on the top. That's what we're going to have to work on there. Now, I know there's some glass still. Wow, you scared me, buddy. I think we used all the glass. We used all the glass. I'm going to have to go back and get some more glass and that's just what, that's just what it is. Just what I'm going to have to do. Okay guys, so for the time being, I'm logging off here. Probably inside of this thing, because I know it's at least reasonably safe inside here. Okay guys, see you later. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Quip. Welcome back to iCraft Hudson P. I almost said something else. Yes, I am not playing on my single player right now. Um, I have a skeleton horse right here. If you guys have seen bits and pieces of what was going on earlier, you would have seen me stuck with a big giant lightning storm, a creeper destroying part of this field. In fact, you can see the pieces are still broken. So here I am now back on the server in hopes of like at least shoring up the remaining pieces of this pumpkin. The goal here I think now would be to do this entire upper row here. And ideally I would love, 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 love to get a jack-o'-lantern face going on on this side right here. And I don't know how, how easy or hard that's gonna be. I'm just gonna do all the pumpkins now, deal with all the creepy faces staring at me and whether or not we cap them all off the same, we will have to see. Um, but we'll, we'll take that when we get up to the top there, I think. Then we'll worry about that. The dirt, if you notice, I only have a stack of 64, but I do have plenty of dirt in here. I should take probably another two stack just in case. And what is this? Oh, okay, good. Then I have a place for this guy. Awesome. Yeah, so I'm gonna work off camera, try to fill up the rest of the dirt. And whether this ends at the end of my last episode or the beginning of the next episode, I am not sure. And here's why. Here's exactly why, guys. Because my last episode, oh my god, I'm trapped. I'm trapped, guys. My last episode pretty much stops at um, 13 minutes. So I'm not sure if I want to add more time to it or just stick with the time of what I got. We'll see. But yeah, in order to finish this off, I'm going to have to essentially just connect these pieces all together up on this row right here. It's all going to connect to this. And then the challenge there, I think in my opinion, is trying to replicate this stuff down here up over here. That, I am not sure how I'm going to do that, but essentially going to just follow along with this stuff here. And I probably should have left the dirt there, but whatever, it's too late for that now. I guess I'll just do it on this side because there is a way up here, kind of, sort of, not really. Okay, guys, stay tuned. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it, I am back. It's like 10 something, 10.30 at night, and I came on, I don't know, three o'clock in the afternoon, four o'clock in the afternoon, and I have been extremely busy. I'm gonna show you what I did. This is what I did. I haven't finished the, the last bit at the top, but I pretty much did all of the rest over here. This is all finally done. And I want to show you the melons. This is insane, but this chest is full of melon. This chest is full of melon, and this chest is getting full of melon. And that leaves like one more chest to deal with. I don't know what I'm going to do with the pumpkins. There's no place for the pumpkins. This is actually why we need a storage component like right over here in the front somehow. And it'll get done, don't worry. But yeah, we have melons for days. So 
he and I were thinking about building a melon shop, actually, cut to this darn thing. So we'll probably do that for sure. Maybe make a melon ball or something like that in the shopping district. That would be quite fun, but maybe not this expansive. Um, this with a 25 wide, 25 diameter spear is what I'm building right here, by the way. And I've yet to do the floor, by the way. The floor will probably be made in pumpkin too. And if I do that, I'm probably gonna kill the rails. I'm probably gonna kill the rails. So it's probably better I don't mess up with the rails at all at any point in here. But yeah, I could just do the floor and other areas somehow. I don't know, I can find a way to make it work. But the, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna destroy the rails if I touch them. So we'll leave them, we'll leave them dirt blocks. That'll be fine. Anywho, I also put little lights up there. You can kind of see where some of them are. They're jack-o'-lantern lights, and that's why it's currently glowing up there. And what I do need is lights on the walls, and that's what I don't have. And that's going to be de dependent on how the jack-o'-lantern face looks. If I do a really good job, I can kind of go jack-o'-lantern eyes, kind of like right here. Right, I can do the same thing and it's it's gonna be kind of tricky to do, but I can do like a little, maybe I can even go over this way a little ways. Just do a jack-o'-lantern eyeball or something and then follow it up with like a jack-o'-lantern mouth down here. That'd be cool. If that lights it up pretty good, I might just do it on the other side too. Maybe just do it on all four sides. Who knows, I can't tell you right now. Um, but anywho, I'm gonna get back to work finishing up the rest of the spear. And as I was saying with the melon shop, maybe we can make it, instead of 25, maybe make it 20 or 18 or 15. Any of those will do. Any of those will do because um, quite frankly, we don't need this big giant base unless we're doing what we're doing here. Okay guys, stay tuned. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get up there because this is the path that leads to the exit. Yes, there's an actual exit here, a pumpkin exit. Um, Shoot. <laughs> but yeah, the storage thing, maybe we'll make the storage thing pop out on the outside or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we can do with that. I have to talk to Key about that. But I'm going to finish this off and stay tuned. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's finally finished. I finally finished the whole pumpkin. Up at the top, I put a little bit of spruce. Actually, I took the opportunity to use some spruce to create the little stem piece rather than using some glass and whatever. I just figured the spruce would just look more natural looking. Um, over here, if you look really, really carefully, you'll find there's a doorway there. The doorway is actually jack-o'-lantern, two pieces of jack-o'-lanterns, and it's just a quick and easy way out, at least. Not, not a uh, quick and easy way in. This is actually not supposed to be here. But yeah, quick and easy way out just by falling, and quick and easy way in just by kind of run, jump, and in. There you go. But yeah, so the entire thing is done, and if I keep the jack-o'-lantern doorway there, it actually wouldn't be too bad. It's, it's technically supposed to be like this, technically, which wouldn't be all bad. And if I do a good job, I could probably make it part of the face in some shape or form. But yeah, we could use the jack-o'-lantern to the way in and out of this thing. And so what I'm gonna have to figure out here is what do I want the face to look like? And I think the best thing I could do in the next episode is try to define a jack-o'-lantern face on this big giant pumpkin here. But in the meantime, re relating to this episode, please do let me know if you like this episode. Definitely leave me a, a like, comment, subscribe, and definitely let me go. I really wanna know. Our other dilemma here, guys, and this is where I'm gonna need Key to join me on this. Hopefully he will be able to is I'm just gonna, all right, there we go. I'm just gonna put all of that in there and I guess, I guess if I do it right, there we go. I'm gonna split this and there, finally. All the pumpkins are shoved into that one. The melons are just gonna fill up like crazy and we need an extra slot for pumpkin, my goodness. And that way all the pumpkins just float down here like they are currently doing. Oh my God, there's even more pumpkins up in here. That is awesome. Yeah, so what I'm gonna try to do is let this, let this top chest be pumpkin, but I don't think that's gonna happen with all the melons here. But we do have enough to work with. This is absolutely wonderful. My inventory's full. And I'm gonna, it's currently now finally 11.30, and I'm gonna say good night to you all, and we will see what he thinks. Little puppy, you were over there. How did you get over here? You were actually over there right next to that torch. How did you even move? That is that is quite funny. 
Well, anyways, um, we can do a pumpkin dare cage, actually. That would be kind of fun, because this dirt dare cage would not be very friendly, but a pumpkin dare cage would be. And we could just kind of make a little easy dare cage up to the doorway there. But yeah, we're going to try to find the face and create a storage area right under all of this stuff right here. And all we need to do is connect this particular, this particular right here, this one, and just kind of extend this down. And then from there, just extend it out and then create our giant storage area of pumpkin and melon. Hopefully more pumpkin than melon if we can. But yeah, we, we'll have all of the space under here to do whatever we want with storage. And this is actually wonderful. If we can just kind of make this all work for storage purposes, that would be awesome. Okay guys, I will talk to you all next time. Bye.